All right, what's up, guys? Dale here from Team Max. I'm gonna show you guys my uh, case tournament top four gold probably test tier opponent deck profile. Um, I've been playing I've been playing test tier opponent for a little bit, but uh, I read the gold pride cards and the game models. I think these cards are crazy. Um, so I'll kind of explain how the combos work, and I'll uh, give you guys a deck, I'll give you guys a deck profile. Let's do it. First off, we're going to our cash tiers. I still only run the six. Um, I like I thought cash tier start plot would be like relevant. Or like cost your but they're just not like they're just dead cards in this deck, so I ended up cutting them and testing. After that, we have our three Xiamen, three Ogre Dance, three Foxy Tune, two Deer Note, one Wardon, one Shirtisu, and one Madame Spider. Spell Searcher, <clears throat> Polymerization, uh, Trap searcher based is how it works. And this is like pretty much like the standard ratios for pumps in my opinion. Simply run more shared high suits. I kinda like I kinda like the idea of playing two, but um this deck is so hard to keep space in that I just kinda want to lower the ratio. But I definitely think two is like okay. And then uh, the other two cards for the engine are <clears throat> gonna be the field spell and the trap card. Uh, both of your cards you search. I only play one of each because obviously they're searchable. Uh, you can play two fields, but I was before, um, but now I'm just kind of like, uh, if they hit it, they hit it. You can still play, your combos just aren't as good, and you're going second, so it's like less important, honestly. Oh, uh, and then also I play the one birth for the cast tier engine also. I didn't bring that up. So those are the two main engines, and then the secondary engine here is the gold pride cards. So it's Captain Carry, uh, Nitro Head, and Le Leon. I only play, and then the trap card. I only play these gold prides right now. Uh, the spell card's too inconsistent because you don't want to run a million of these cards because they don't really do anything. Or they, <laughs> I shouldn't say anything. Uh, running more of them doesn't really do anything. Basically, uh, you play one of this because the Synchro 6 uh, special summons is an end phase. Uh, you play two of these because they're good extenders and you want to be able to summon them off of the trap card semi consistently. Uh, but you don't want to open too many of them, obviously, like hard bricks in that situation. And you play three carry because carry is like <laughs> the best one by far. Nitro is a little less little less like useful um it's still good obviously but these are definitely the good ones so i kind of explain how these cards work these are a little bit different. these are numerous so not everyone will know uh basically the premise is you want to draw carry or you want to draw the nitro so carry searches the trap card when she's summoned you can special summon all of them if your life points are lower than your opponents obviously you're playing punt cards every single one of them pays life points basically all the low level ones to do something so you're always you're pretty much always lower life points than your opponent uh, so basically they just work as functionally as extenders, but the idea here is you want to draw this one. This one's effect is that it searches a trap card. The trap card's effect is that when your opponent summons a monster, you can pop that monster and then reveal three three of them from your deck and then summon them. So basically how it was working for me is I would go... I would summon carry, I would make the level 6 synchro, who's like a quick effect to pop a guy, and then I'd have the trap to pop another guy, and it brings out one of these. And basically how these are going to work is... Um, you want Leon, but you don't want to play multiple Leons because he's kind of a brick. Uh, so then it's, if you uh, you want to get one of these out then, as the other one of your other options. Um, this guy is just a level 8, so he lets you, he works with Shirakisu, which is super huge for the deck. Um, being able to do a quick synchro with Shirakisu, and this gets you to Amazing Dragon so you can bounce your opponent's board. Um, a lot of the time, if you if you get this, you're going to quick synchro into uh, Ravenous Croco Dragon to get a draw on your opponent's turn and then have a pop with it um, using Gold Lion. Or if you get this, you're going to sync over case too to make uh, Amazing Dragon. That's kind of like where this engine works really well. Also, they're just all extenders, so they're just free bodies to put on the board to break through stuff. And yeah, that's basically like the, I, the main premise of that was I'd summon this, I'd make the Synchro 6, and then I'd summon one of these, and then I'd go for a Synchro play afterwards using because Leon lets you quick Synchro on your opponent's turn. The other thing that's nice about this card is this is an FTK versus Cash by itself. <laughs> Uh, this card gives your opponent a level, uh, I believe it's a level 8 token that can't be used for link summoning, um, and that he can quick effect pop. So like the idea behind it is you give your opponent a token, uh, if they're playing cash chair they can't summon, they can't evenly, they can't lightning to review, this summons the token in standby phase, and this card can quick effect pop the token after. So there's like been a couple, there was a couple of game states where I like drew this, where like we were in like kind of a top deck mode, and they had a monster on board, I'd summon this, pass turn in the standby, I'd give them the token in their main phase, I'd pop the token in their monster or like their spiller trap or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, it's super cool. I really want this engine to get more cards because right now if it had more cards it'd be insane. I think you definitely should pick this engine now. It's super strong. Um, I really didn't feel bad drawing any of these other than if I drew like, I had like an opening hand that was like this one time and I was like, man, that really sucks. And I didn't have a punk card. That was one of my only losses in the tournament. Um, I went X1-1, which, which is pretty good out of 40 people. 
give me fourth place. So finally, for our other like pseudo non engines, we play three Italian. Obviously, we're playing punk cards. You play three Italian punk. This is just how it is. I played three book, three ash, three imperm, and one ogre for my defenses. So you can search ogre with the synchro eight. Uh, so you can summon on your opponent's turn a lot of the times if when they like respond to like your amazing dragon or anything like that. Uh, so you bring it back on your you summon on your opponent's turn to search order for an interaction. Pretty simple. Uh, the rest of the cards I wanted to play here because I think they're just like inherently the best ones. You have to play Ash because Despy is one of the best decks. I played two in tournament. Um, beat both of them. Uh, you play three Book um, because Book's like just generically good. It's pretty solid in everything that's not named Despia because uh, it'll force like a Baron negate. Uh, the only problem with Book. <laughs> Is uh, it's really bad into tier because all it's doing is like shutting off their mirror jade, but then they just go banishment, they fusion summon, or they go banishment or red, and they just summon it anyways. So yeah, just annoying. Uh, and then finally triple imperm because imperm is just like the second best hand trap. I just wanted really really safe hand traps into everything. Um, this deck does draw a fair bit on your on its own turn. It basically potted reads in its standard combo, <laughs> and it thins its deck out of all the other cards. So you're almost always guaranteed to hit uh, one of these, at least one of these cards. So you want to just play like a decent amount of them. So that's the main deck, uh, 43 cards. I wasn't playing book originally and I was at 40. I don't think there's like any space I can cut more. I had it really tight, but then I realized like I really need a way to help me like beat Cash game one. And so I played that, because Cash Tira, I only played one of the tournament and I 2 him, uh, but then it's still scary. <laughs> it is, in my opinion, too bricky to be functionally good, but yeah. I still think that deck is like super scary, um, because it essentially can just FDK you for no reason if you're not prepared for it. Uh, let's run the extra deck, uh, one Alsa, one Donner, you need a way to get rid of the Ibley token, and then also like pop the Arise Heart to play afterwards. This is like the best card to do it. Also, is to steal Fenrir's. Pretty simple there, nothing too crazy. You do need to play two links also, because, uh, yeah, this format's dumb. <laughs> you need to play two links, because, yeah, it's just super annoying. Um, with that, they can just rip your extra deck. From there, I played one of the Fusion Guy. Uh, super important. A lot of your like really good extension combos require this card. Uh, if you're not starting to nib, like game ones, I wouldn't respect the nib. So I would put this in. And then I would just uh, I would just full combo through it and just accept that I got nibbed. Also, there's a lot of hands where like you make a Baron early and you need this to continue comboing properly. From there, for us for actually for actually you played one Cicada King. Uh, I don't think I haven't changed my actual Z ratio at all. Um, I still don't make Zeus very much, but when you make it, it's really good because you need to make it. Um, Cicada King's like the best generic rank three in my opinion, and then these two cards are just like the mandatory rank uh, rank eights. Um, Harbinger is insane. And Galaxy Aspect to Learn is also insane. I've been making Harbinger less and less because of Nibiru, but it still comes up to not to um, especially with Nitro Head, it, it still comes up that like Photon Lord is really good. Our making Harbinger can be really good, especially in certain matchups. Finally, the good stuff, the Synchros. We love Synchros. Uh, one Starle Starleon. Uh, this is the new Synchro. This card's crazy. It's basically just a uh, so if your life ones are loading your opponent, if you target one monster your opponent controls, you gain it. This card gains attack equal to that opponent's monster's attack, original attack, and then you can, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can just destroy that card. And like I said, you're playing punk, your life points are always lower. There's so many times where like, I would end on this card, and then I would just like flip up my trap card, get out the level three guy, and then I would synchro for a ravenous trap card, which is to me like more free value based. So I would get like, just off drawing uh, the trap searcher plus, um, even if I got stopped, the uh, roll pride cards let you play through and this card's like insane that it lets you just do that and then during the end phase if this doesn't die which happened to me a couple times you have to go a special summon leon back it special summons leon it shuffles itself in the extra deck so you can just make it again or you can uh, go leon summon a guy from the grave and then sink like nitro from the grave and then synchro with nitro to make a amazing dragon or punisher for the level eight so you play berserker plus jam dragon nothing crazy here berserker is just like generically good um i went into him a lot less there might be a better card now he was really against tier specifically um, it's still like a good card, I just don't know if there was another 8 that might be worth playing over it. Crocker Dragon, you have to play this because of Leon, um, and, uh, St because of Leon and Star Leon. Um, yeah, this card's just, this card's just mandatory now. Drawing one's really good. The Synchro 9 pool is just kind of dog shit, to be honest, but, uh, and you do get a lot of, like, dead cards in this deck, because there's a lot of times I'll have, like, extra unicorns or, like, uh, extra fenders in my hand, because I just kept searching. So, it just becomes, like efficient just to have this as a way to like draw more cards and then also just like pop their stuff so you can hopefully draw into interactions after that we played our t oh sorry i skipped the part we played our baron baron's insane yeah only zero ten i played i dropped chaining without the vis shields you can't like consistently go into it which is kind of annoying 
So, yeah, we didn't do that. Uh, we played the one second hand Punisher, card's insane. And then we played our two Amazing Dragons. Um, so yeah, Amazing Dragons <laughs> really good. You have to play two because they can rip your extra deck. And what I noticed is that people were just ripping this card from my extra deck because this card's terrifying to play against if you're playing Cast Jared, because if I can get to this, um, like it makes it so like an imperm can like wipe your entire board. Like if I imperm Rise Heart and then I just go like, okay, make like a fusion play, I can just go uh, effect to bounce everything, uh, and people just don't like dealing with that. But also having two of these does come up uh, because there's times where like you'll make this in your phone turn, they'll still clear your board, but they won't really have any follow up. And then like this turns a single Ziamin, uh, this turns a single Ziamin, single Ziamin into game. So yeah, that's extra deck, and then fly deck. One Starlight Red Dragon Archfiend. I was only playing this card uh, as a way to burn in time. Uh, the basic route is pretty much if you open uh, a single Ziamin and any other extender in your deck, you're able to burn your opponent for a thousand when you only take 600 and you just gain them off that. Nothing crazy there. It's just like the best option this deck has for burn. Uh, after that, I still play Bestials, but I side decked them. Um, I expected a lot of Despia. I played two. Um, and it, I brought these into that matchup every time because you just use it to hit the uh, branded punishment, branded red, you just use it to hit those cards, a branded banishment. So yeah, that's the idea behind these. And they're like just an okay engine in general. Crocker Store makes them even better. After that, I played Triple Droll. I actually really like this card. Um, I play a lot of Sword Soul, but every deck that's not Sword Soul in this game right now does not like Droll because you Droll them. And then uh, they don't really do much, so everything surges a lot now. But yeah, I think Joel's just like a good generically good card. I also play the base shield so I won't get like punished by like random decks like uh, the Math Max. Joel does like that too. Joel's like good into a lot of matchups. Or at least it's like decent to where like if I have like bad cards I can pull them out. Um, I was pulling out gold prides for the most part. Uh, I at least pull out the, uh, the five card engine with like Leon, the three trap searchers, and the trap because they're kind of mediocre going second. Um, because like searching the trap is mid. Um, to be honest. So I pulled those out going second, and then I, needed, I always wanted cards to put in. I actually didn't play any going first cards, though, so I just played more board breakers. So I played triple evenly, triple lightning storm, and then two cyclones. Uh, so the idea here is that if I put in six board breakers going second, I'm always able to pull out six cards, basically, because I'm always at minimum pulling seven. <laughs> Sorry, plain break. Uh, I wanted my cards to be good in like, every match if I could. So the idea was, like, if I'm going second, I don't really need to hand trap people as much unless I know like they're playing like some ridiculous combo deck to where I can just like if I'm playing versus Despia or Sword Soul or even Tash Tira, like all these cards are coming in because these cards are insane. <laughs> um, so yeah, th that was kind of my logic through how I was beating everything was like if I just have like a million board breakers or like pseudo board breakers then I'm like feeling really comfortable in every matchup because my deck is just better than theirs. So if I can just like get rid of their board and I can like start to do my combo, I'm almost always just gonna put out like more problem. I, my like my end pieces are better than their end pieces is basically how my like uh, logic. And then I play two Cyclone because I thought like Brunic would be a deck, and um, I don't think the deck is like particularly hard for this deck with like because you put out so many negations that you can just kind of clear everything. Um, but like you need to be able to Cyclone out their stuff. Uh, evenly Lightning Storm and all that stuff does it pretty well, but uh, Cyclone for their field spells important. So I believe, yeah, that's everything. That's the whole deck. Um, I went to Chase Tournament, got fourth place, uh, opened up one thrust <laughs> out of my prizing, and uh, the rest I pulled were uh, gold, pride, gold pride cards. Uh, apparently they really liked me. So yeah, um, I guess I'll show you guys some of the combos, just like some of like the basic combos in the deck right now. Just so everyone can kind of like understand how it works, so it can be a little bit complicated. So I'll just show you guys like one of the most basic routes in the deck. So to start off with, um, if we, like we have, two, there's two routes to this deck, like the main combos with Ziamin, and one is like not respecting uh, Nibiru, and the other is respecting it. We'll just go through no, no Nibiru respect. So we go Ziamin, Ziamin effect. Uh, for not respecting it, we always, we're still going Fox Tune like every time. So we go uh, Foxy Tune, discard whatever. A lot of the times it'd be like extra Fenrir's or extra Unicorns if I had them. You know, you know, it'd be. Uh, Foxy Tune discard whatever. Foxy Tune is now bringing out Shurtisu. Shurtisu effect of fusion. We'll bring out our fusion monster. Tribute the fusion monster. Which is summoning Deer Note plus Wagon. Wagon effect searches the field spell. Jam session. 
now we go for our Synchro 8 play. This lets us go into uh, Jam Dragon Drive. And now there's two options here. Um, you can either end on Shurikisu if you want to, um, or the other option is, uh, depending on like the rest of your hand, I would go Shurikisu sometimes, other times I would go for Galaxy S Photon Lord. Um, if I like expected like a later negate, like if I thought they would nib me really late, I would go into Photon. Like I would summon here if I knew I had follow up, then I would go into Photon Lord so I could still like have some place. But the idea here is like you go into this. This is gonna be um well at the end of the combo three bounces. So deal. If you don't have another extender here, I'll normally just grab. The, I'll just normally go for an eight. So I can just like get something on my board at least for like some form of interaction. So you'll go like this, but a lot of the times it's going here. And then, because like if you have like another edge center, you don't need to make the amazing dragon. Like it's not that important. You just go like this. Um, jam dragon searches also. And you always want to target rising cards so they don't steal you. Pretty standard stuff there. Um, you search Madame, and then you get to draw a card because you because you because uh, of the field spell. And then you're gonna go for overlay if you're not going for amazing. It's pretty simple stuff there. Basically, the deck doesn't really have set combos. You kind of have to just play off your hand. You know, like what your Z, what your single Ziaman is gonna do. Um, but the rest of it's just like all like freestyling basically. That's what I really like about this deck. There's just so many routes and there's so many option trees. Um, and then you're gonna go field spell effect. I pretty much always banish Ziaman in this deck, um, but also like Foxy's fine too here if you uh, went for the carp route. Uh, which is in a special Madame. Madame effect will activate. Madame will search your trap card. And then you get to draw another card because you activated a psychic effect. Then you special summon carry. Carry effect activates. Carry searches your trap card. Start your engines. You can summon carry earlier if you don't. If you like, you're just not respecting Nib at all. It's just personal preference if you want to get to start your engines on your deck earlier or not. Um, so, from we now have uh, six cards in our hands essentially. From here, we'll synchro six. Now, I guess there's two options. One you can go for state, or one you can go for synchro six. I just prefer the synchro six because I think like if you don't hit the Leon out of the deck, this getting Leon is like just game on the next turn. So that's important. Uh, so now we have, in theory, we have four cards in our hand. Off of a we have four cards in our hand. We have one negate, one pop, another negate, and then another pop. So we have four interactions at minimum. Uh, this is with just like a, off of a two card combo essentially, and then we have four cards in our hand for follow up here. Uh, so yeah, that's just kind of how it works. Uh, the other thing too that even it's strange, if you go start your engines after, um, and it hit, it, it's a random pick, your opponent doesn't get to choose. So you'll go reveal, reveal, and I think I drew the nitro. <laughs> um, so you go reveal, 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 oh, never mind. you reveal these three. Um, if you hit the Leon, you'll summon Leon out, and then you'll quick synchro with Leon. Which makes Tractor Dragon. Tractor Dragon will draw you a card here. So now you have more cards, and then you can just discard any two for another pop. So yeah, the idea on the deck is that you uh, just get to gain like an absurd amount of advantage, and you have a lot of like one card, like one, uh, Ziaman's one card starter, and then every other card is just supposed to like play with Ziaman for your engine. That's kind of how the whole deck's supposed to work. So yeah, um, and that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. I kind of, I try to kind of explain it. I'll probably play this on Friday, like remote dual locals, so and stream that. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be Friday at 7 p.m. C or, uh, 7.30 CST, or probably said, I'll start streaming at 7 p.m. CST and I'll play this deck on there. Because this deck is like so much fun, you have to do so many things to straight. And like uh, the resource grind and everything is just absurd. So yeah, if you guys liked the video, like I said, subscribe, check out Team Moonax, check out, make sure um, you're subscribed to my channel, Daily Team. Daily Wagio, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.